Besides being the forum of foster international relation, the fourth EPEC Youth Sign Festival is a platform built a region-wide network of young scientists who will solve global problems and create global opportunity in the future. This year's theme is from nature to technology, which reflect close relationship between nature and human civilizations. The knowledge of nature, which are simply called sign, is the foundation of social chains. On one hand, sign transform economies and improve living standard of people. But on the other hand, sign enable industrializations that lead to the dirty ocean of environment. And this is why you're gathering here today to take a serious look at how our relationship with nature should be. My dear young people, you are the future of our world. You are the one who will inherit the world of today and design the world of tomorrow. I believe that young people like you will rise to this challenge if given opportunity. And this is the duty of adults in the government, the private sector, our local communities to prepare young people for the task enriching them with scientific, cultural, and moral knowledge, and giving them opportunity to show their creativity in shaping the future world. The fourth EPIC Youth Science Festival is a part of this preparation, as I mentioned. The festival brings together curious youth from EPIC member economies to learn and experience science outside their classroom so that they will aware and appreciate the importance of science and technology. I hope that they will develop their ability to make rational decision that is based on science knowledge and act creatively. There are many things to learn from the activities that we have prepared for you from biodiversity, aerodynamics, design, energy, and astronomy. I hope that the experience that you will gain from this festival will, will help you select future career path and the, and the lifestyle that are suitable for you, particular interest and ability. Sign is a matter of opportunity. It's built career path for you to become a competitive adult in the future. The career path that may bring your prestige and prosperity. Scientific learning doesn't just stop at the classroom. You must seek knowledge outside classroom. Through visiting science museum and participating in science fair like this and science festival such as this one, useful knowledge and opportunity can be gained from observation and experimental now, let me give you two good examples. The first one is Henry Ford. I think you all know him. We all know that this man, he's a prominent American industrialist whose introduction of 
automobile long time ago. That revolutionized transportation. He was born in a farmer, in a family of farmer. He's a farmer. In his early teens, his father gave him a pocket watch. Not this one, <laughs> but it's a watch. An expensive item that time, with great curiosity, for this mantle and resemble the watch to learn its mechanism, what today we call re-engineering. At his 15, he offered watch repair service to friends and neighbor, gaining him the reputation of watch repairman. This background prepared him well to learn the know-how of engine design and maintenance, which made him a very, very successful engineer and industrialized later in lifetime. Another one, Bill Gates. Of course, you must know him because you all use computer. Well, Bill Gates, he's the chairman and co-founder of Microsoft. But unlike Ford, Bill Gates was born in the urban middle-class family. At the age of 13, just 13, he was given an opportunity at his school to use a computer. Gates took an interest in programming, writing the first usable computer program on that machine. After that, he took every opportunity to sharpen his computer skill. And however, what made him different from other young people was he had enough college to start his own software business. His curiosity combined with the right attitude get him off a spectacular career path, the path that led him to become a billionaire who changed the modern world. Young people, you might ask why you are here. Why do Asia and Pacific economy have to unite, have to unite it as a pact? Let me tell you this. But in this era of globalization, it is important to foster close collaboration. As the old saying, united we stand, divided we fall. A single economy in Asia Pacific region cannot compete with other economic blocks. But together we can. I believe that the APEC region with more than 40% of the world population, approximately 54% of the world GDP, and about 44% of the world trade, has the capacity to tackle global challenge, but however, to realize the goal, all of you must have right mindset, the APEC value. We are one people, and that we must join hand to help one another. I hope this festival will nurture this value in you, the future of your respective economy and the future of APEC. But today, hundreds of you are gathering in this opening ceremony. And over the next few, year, few days, Please try to get to make as many friends as possible. But this friendship will be foundation for the young, for the strong network of science, technology, and innovation in the future. Networking is the key to the success of science and technology development. It is, therefore, the important ingredient to the success of PayPay. And after the end of this festival, I hope that you will keep in touch with your APEC friends because you all 
will become leading sign in the future. <laughs>